Welcome to the SNF Post Game. Here now, Mike Tirico. Well, we have visited the top two teams in the NFC on back-to-back -back games Thursday and Sunday in two high-scoring, impressive performances. Minnesota winning over New England and Philly beating Green Bay here tonight, 40-33. to 40 points and 500 yards on the nose for the Eagles tonight, led by Jalen Hurts and Miles Sanders getting it done on the ground. And the offensive line paving the path. And the leader of the old line and the leader of this offense standing by with Melissa. Well, Jason said he's never gotten one of these, so he didn't know what to do with it. You want to tell him what to do with it? <laughs> Enjoy it, brother. I ain't, never, I ain't never seen that like that. You ain't never seen that. How long did it take you? 12 years. This is my first one. This is pretty cool. Well, an incredible night. I want to start off first of all that you rushed for the most yards ever that you have in an NFL game. You rushed for a lot of yards. I want to know how your legs are feeling. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy we came out here and we got this win. We, we know we're playing a really competitive and good football team. They're coached by one of the best. Um, they have really good players. And, you know, we, I, I got the GOAT. We got the GOAT. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm wishing him his prayers and hoping he can um, get a speedy recovery. But um, this is a great football team we played against. And I think we persevered. We kind of left money on the table in the end. Kind of some, some frustrating moments in the game for us, but we were able to overcome. And what about this offensive line? Man, Kelsey, Kelsey is the lead man of it all. The, the work he does, the leadership he has in the room. I always talk about how he embraced me when I came in here, and, and this allowed me to kind of excel and, and kind of take, take my game person to another level, just having him in my presence. So, hey, you deserve it, bro. I love you. What, what worked so well for you guys tonight? Well, yeah, the, the ground game was there for us, and I mean, Jalen does so many things to even out the numbers, and like you said, he had 157 yards. That makes the defense have to defend uh, more numbers, and um, you know, this is the way it's going to be sometimes. Sometimes it's going to be, you know, an air attack with A.J. getting freaking three long touchdowns. Sometimes it's going to be a, a ground game like this. Last week, it was a low-scoring defensive battle, and uh, the bottom line is, like, good teams in this league, they find a way to get it done each and every week, and uh, whatever's there, and however you got to get it done, you, you make sure you get it done. And you said we got the GOAT. We got Aaron Rodgers. How important was that to you? I was just, you know, it's, I have a lot of respect for him. I have a lot of respect for him. That's a guy that I watched as a kid. All of the young quarterbacks in this league have watched him play. Um, and I have a lot of respect for him, the way he does what he does. So I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. Uh, we, got him, we got him this time around, though. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Jalen Hurts does it the right way. So does Kelsey. His brother leads the league in touchdown catches. His offensive line led the way tonight. There's some great stuff streaming now on Peacock. You can catch the new original Pitch Perfect bumper in Berlin. Qatar 2022. And starting right now, what we can tell you about. Live coverage continuing from Philadelphia and the studio. Sunday Night Football Final right here, or only I should say over there, on Peacock. And right here, we've got a look at next Sunday's Colts-Cowboys matchup when we come back to Philadelphia. Welcome back to the SNF Post Game. Sunday Night Football in Arlington, Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys. And here we go. Cowboys defense making the case that they're the best in the NFL. Let's go! The Colts have got the Kansas City Chiefs. Who goes hardest the longest, man? That's how this game is decided. And that's CD Lamb, highlight of the night. Look out, it's getting hot. Arlington next Sunday night. I always love the NFL season. There's one hard turn that you didn't see coming. And Jeff Saturday, as head coach of the Colts, was one of those turns. So we get to sit back tomorrow night, watch Joe and Troy do the Colts game. So we'll get a good read on what Indianapolis is doing. We got a good read on what Dallas is doing. And since Dak is back, they are winning. They are, and this is going to be a good test, though, because Jeff Saturday and the Colts are going to try and pound them, right? Mm -hmm, I mean, yeah. that's what they're going to do. They're going to try to take it right at them, 
And so we'll see about the Dallas Cowboys because eventually the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be in their sights, and we know what the Philadelphia Eagles can do running the football. So we will be in Arlington next Sunday night for the Colts and the Cowboys as we get the month of December started. Ended November with a tremendous week, but a long week. L.A. to Minnesota to Philadelphia, three games in eight days for the best of the business. Our Sunday night football crew, lots of folks who didn't get home for the holidays to see their family. Thank you one and all for a job well done. Done and everybody in the truck as well. Drew Esikoff, Rob Highland, our entire team. Thank you all. Our final score tonight in Philadelphia Eagles 40, Packers 33. Coming up next, except on the West Coast, it is your local news. With Chris Collinsworth, Melissa Stark, Terry McCauley, and all the folks we just talked about, and everybody who's part of Sunday Night Football, Mike Tirico. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving weekend. Good night from Philadelphia, where the Eagles are still the best team in the NFL. NBC Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League.